Hello, my students. Your physics teacher, Hassan Darwish, with you. Remember, in the, in the last video, we started in chapter 10, part 1, about capacitor. And in that video, we explain uh, objective 1, the capacitor, the role of the capacitor, and its rules. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain or study the charging and discharging a capacitor. Okay, here. So, let's start. This is a capacitor. Okay. Charging and discharging a capacitor. Now, why do we do this? Why do we do charging and discharging a capacitor? Why we study the charging and discharging? Why? Because we want to know how, when you are charging a capacitor, or I mean, when you are collecting electric charge on the capacitor, we want to know how this charge and consequently the voltage across the capacitor varies with time. That's the main objective. Clear? And also we want to know how the electric current in the circuit changes while you are charging or discharging a capacitor. Okay? You know, so this is very important. So do so, we have connected this circuit. I have here an ideal generator or ideal generator two switches, K1 and K2, the capacitor here, and a resistor. What is the role of the resistor in this uh, circuit? I want to control the rate of charging and discharging of the capacitor. Okay? So this circuit is called RC circuit. RC circuit because there is a resistor and a capacitor. Now before let let let's here do the following. Sorry. Case one charging the capacitor. Let me do the following first. Let's close switch K two only. I've closed K two only while k1 still open okay what will happen here here is the closed loop or the closed circuit so in your opinion what will happen yes nothing why because there is no generator in the circuit the capacitor is neutral okay so nothing will happen okay good let me close K2 and then close K1. Mean I have closed both switches, K1 and K2. So in your opinion, what would happen? Here the ideal battery would explode. Why in your opinion? Because we have short circuit, right? Here's the battery. And here is the connecting wire. You have to shorted the circuit. Okay? So it is not, uh, we do not close K1 and K2 at the same time in this case. Clear? Or keep K1 and K2 closed. What do we do? So we close K1 alone. Clear? I have here closed K1 alone. Keep K2 open, of course. So where is the closed circuit? Here is the closed circuit. Look. No current here because the wire is open here. Here is the current. Passes like this. Plus here. This is the electric current at any time. Okay. Sorry. And the current passes like this. Down. In the resistor, then in the capacitor. Look here. 
This is the current in the capacitor, sorry. Here is the charge Q, plus Q, and here is minus Q. Okay. The current continues. This is I. And passes like this. Okay. So in this case, the capacitor will start charging. Right? What do we want to do now? We want to see how the charge Q, the voltage across the, the capacitor U, M, B, and the electric current vary with time. Okay? That's our main objective. So, charging the capacitor, C is uncharged, flows K1 only at T equal to zero. What will happen here? The current I passes, right, in the circuit. And what happened also, C starts charging. So what is our main objective in this case? We want to see how Q, I and U across the capacitor vary with time. Okay? So let me do this first here. Sorry. So our main objective, main objective see how Q the voltage U and B I mean U across the capacitor and I vary with time okay Let's start. First of all, apply the law of addition of voltages. This means U generator is equal to UAB equal UAM plus UMB. Okay, here it is. See? UG U generator is equal UAM UAB right because this is a connecting wire here which is equal to UAM plus UMB right UAB is equal to U generator you know the rule U generator you remember from first secondary the rule of the generator minus RI plus E, right, equal A M, between A and M there is a resistor, and what is Ohm's law for a resistor, you remember, R I, yes, right, plus U M B, which is the voltage across the capacitor, remember this rule from video 1, U equal CU. You remember? Good. So U equal Q over C. And this is equal Q over C. Here R is zero because our generator or battery is ideal. Okay? No resistance battery. You see? R is zero. Okay, good. And also, you remember from first secondary, the average electric current, I, remember, first secondary, I equal Q over delta T. 
you are allowed to write this i equal q over that d because this is average average means constant like when you say the average velocity average speed or average velocity equal distance over delta t but what about instantaneous value here the current is instantaneous why because it is variable like when you say instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity v equal x prime right the derivative of x so similarly here i the electric current as an instantaneous value is equal dq over dt so this is what the derivative this is equal what q prime derivative of q let's replace here in this equation we get e equal r u prime plus q over c divide this equation by r to make it just more elegant more beautiful equation as mathematicians like it so you get u prime plus 1 over rc let me write this constant alone 1 over rc q equal e over r now let's check this equation this equation contains the function q and its derivative u prime okay so this is very important equation okay in mathematics this is called differential equation and in reality first order differential equation why because we have only one derivative here that's why it's called first order usually an equation that contain the function and its derivative is called in mathematics differential equation. Now, because the highest derivative here is the first derivative, q prime, then it is called first order differential equation. Okay? Now, this equation is similar to this form. This equation is similar to this form. y prime plus a certain constant a y here is the function q and here is q prime and this is 1 over rc equal constant k which is e over r in this case now this equation in sorry this equation in mathematics has a special solution special form the teacher of mathematics will teach you in detail how to solve this equation to get y. means how to integrate this equation. Clear? To get the function y. Here in physics, we give it directly to you. So the solution of this equation is q. Let me write it in red. q equal capital letter q. I will tell you why. 1 minus e to the minus time t over tau this is the solution clear now what are q and tau in reality q is nothing more than ce like this equation u equals cu but because e is a maximum voltage so q is a maximum charge on the capacitor maximum charge and tau equal 
RC. It's called time.